Yeah. Ooh, my stomach ain't. Ooh, something ain't right with my stomach. Oh, why do I feel like somebody that kicked me in my shit? Tariq, is that you? Damn, what's this? I be in my arm? What the fuck? Oh, no. Oh. Damn. Why well, I feel like somebody put me in the blender? Why can't I feel this breeze? What what I'm in the nightgown for? What the fuck? Where am I? Who there? Who there? Kane. Mama. True. Who there? Pa? Is that you? Pa? Pa? Tariq sitting right next to the bed. Tariq's like, Diana, it's me. It's Tariq. You're all right. You're in the hospital. It's me. I'm with you. Tariq, what am I doing in here? What am I doing in here, Tariq? Diana, you got your ass one place. It was ugly. When I found you, they left your body stanking. All I seen was a trash bag on top of your head. Rats were chewing at your feet. I didn't know what was going on, Diana. I was, I was dreading the worst. I thought you were unalive, but I saved you. I brought you to the hospital. Tariq, what happened? Oh. What happened? Why did my stomach feel this way? The baby's gone, Diana. <laughs> Diana's like, what? The baby's gone. Tariq, <laughs> they whooped your ass. They love you for dead. And it's like, oh, not the baby. Not the baby. Tariq sitting there with tears in his eyes. I'm going to get whoever did this to you. She said, Tariq, you've been in the dope game. It's the reason this happened. Tariq should have said, that ain't have nothing to do with you getting your ass whooped, baby. You got your ass whooped. You hit a cop. I don't even know that it was a cop. I just knew you got your ass whooped. Diana, she upset. Tariq, just get out of here. I don't want to see your face. Tariq said, no, Diana, I'm staying here with you. Monet is on her way, but I'm staying here with you. She said, Tariq, I don't want to see you right now. Go. Oh, oh, my stomach, the baby. The baby, the baby. So Diana's in here, and she's going through it right now. Mm -mm -mm. Tariq is like, whoever did this, they're going to pay. They're going to pay, Diana. I'm here. Just go, Tariq. Just go. Look what they didn't do with you right now. <laughs> this Tariq is your fault. Tariq is like, what I do? <laughs> so Tariq, he gets his jacket. He leaves it. He upset. But he wants to handle this. Well, we find out that Felicia did this shit. So Tariq leaves. And in comes Monet. Monet comes in here next. Diana in here. Monet comes in like, girl, what's wrong? You all right? It was the bait. Like, damn, what, what was that? So Monet, she's talking to Diana. Diana's like, Ma, I didn't expect this. And I, I just wanted the baby. I wanted Mo to like, oh. and Mo's like, I know. We're going to get whoever the fuck did this. You're like, no, nah, Ma, I got to do this. And then Kane ends up showing up. So right now, this is the worst time to have all the Tejadas in one room. Because, like, Diana's really going through it. She got her, you know what I'm saying? She got whooped on. Like, we can joke around about the ass whooping. We, let's not joke around about the, about the baby. But the baby was on the lie because of Felicia. But she did take an ass whooping. Now, I don't want to hear... Like, we're not condoning this, but this is the power world. So let's just remove the real world and, you know what I'm saying, and dive into the power universe. Diana can't use that excuse of I'm pregnant when she was the one that threw the first punch at the cop. Like, she slapped Felicia. What did she think was going to happen? You know what I mean? Like, if you're pregnant, that means you shouldn't be trying to slap people. But she did it, and Felicia defended herself. You know what I'm saying? Self-defense is, is key. That's what we got to look at right now. Diana was the aggressor. All Felicia did was show up and say, hey, you didn't do your job. K. 
get your hands off of me. And then she slapped Felicia. And then Felicia said, okay, that's what we doing. <laughs> Badge off. Let's get it. So they end up going at it. But Kane shows up and he's telling Diana, listen, call me whenever Monet starts to fuck up. That's crazy that everyone knows Monet is not capable of doing something successfully. What did y'all think about Kane showing up and saying that? Like, call me when Monet starts fucking up. Like, damn, how you know Monet just gonna be messing up like that? So Diane is in here trying to recover. Call me when she fucks up. So Diana, she's in here. She's in full recovery mode. <laughs> Kane was like, man, man, call me when Monet fuck up. When's the next time? Oh, we see uh, Diana at the crib. Now, Diana ends up going home. I don't know what Monet calls herself doing, like making her some tea. Like, what, what, what's she going to do with this tea, Monet? So Diana's in here. She upset. Oh, no, Monet. Let me turn on my Diana serious voice. <clears throat> Diana, you just need to get your rest. No, no, Monet. I want that revenge. I'm going to get that bitch for doing this to me. She ain't going nowhere. I'm going to get her ass. Revenge is the best dish her gold, Monet. Oh, yeah. You better believe I'm going after her ass. Monet's like, you can't do this, Diana. You just need to chill. You need to let me take care of it. Monet, shut your ass up. I want this body for myself. I'm looking at Diana like, I don't know if Diana, if she's serious or maybe, maybe this is the tea. Maybe that's why Monet is giving her the tea to fix up her voice. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong, Diana? Diana said, I'm going to get this one. She said, uh, I, don't, I don't know about that. I don't know about it. You need to just chill, Diana. Now, remember, this is Diana's story, so I got to give it from Diana's perspective. I understand why she's trying to go and get this. But remember, this is warning number two. Tariq gave warning number one. This is warning number two. Diana, this is not the game that you need to be in. But Diana... She a hard head and she lost something that was near and dear to her. The only things that we knew that Diana actually enjoyed, there were three things. It was Poppy, school, and that baby. She lost Poppy. She lost that baby. All she got left is school. So she's turning into a crash out right in front of our eyes. Remember that. So Monet's like, just chill, just chill. You don't need to be doing that. From there, Diana gets her act together. Now, we don't see her, and we just see somebody falling around the cops. Well, it turns out it's Diana. Diana's sitting in the car. She's surveying the police, the policia, a.k.a. Felicia. So she's just watching them, angry, upset that fire is burning. But we didn't mention that she got that gun, too. Now, you remember, she goes into the closet and she gets that gun out of Monet's safe. She don't even close it. That's how mad she is. That's how mad she is. She didn't talk to Drew. Drew talking about he going to fix it for her. She goes and watch the cops. Monet, Texas. Carter's no help. I'm going to Davis for more information. Because they're trying to figure out who the hell did this. Now, Monet, 
we'll talk about it when we get to her story. She did meet up with Carter on the bridge. Well, Carter was no help. So she tried to contact Davis. Drew ends up calling and Drew in jail. We know what Drew's about. Drew's on some other shit right now. This nigga's on some Mission Impossible. But Diana goes and grabs that Thule. Now, if you remember back in the original trailer, there was, there was this photo of the gun. But they do it so quick. I never seen that. It was fingernails on there. I thought this was Tariq. But this is Diana grabbing the gun out of the safe. And that's when we see her go and follow Don Carter. Well, he's actually she's actually following Felicia. So she's sitting in the car waiting and waiting on Felicia. I think I would have spotted Diana. You know what I mean? I would have turned around. Like, Why is that regular car? We don't have any. What was that? A Puerto Rican? Who is that in there? What was Lorenzo? Puerto Rican or Dominican? What was uh, Lorenzo's ethnic background? Are they Puerto Rican or are they Dominican? I can't remember. I know their Spanish isn't as good as it should be, but. Oh, Puerto Rican. Yeah, I would have turned around and said, man, I don't think we got any Puerto Rican blacks uh, on the NY force, or NYPD force, not in our precinct, at least, that are going to be over in the motor pool. Like, who is that over there? Hola, como esta? Mi hablo Danulio de Jesus el jefe. Um, what's uh, what's your number? Yeah, I'm looking over there. Diana sitting here, like, who got that busted lip, too? So, Diana is up following her to the crib because at first I wasn't really like paying attention, I was watching, but I was listening and I looked up and seen Diana. I was like, oh, so that's how she found her way to the crib. Muy bien, who's dead or. Halt, who goes there? I'm gonna work on my Spanish, but I'm really trying to work on my Portuguese first because I'm gonna be going to Portugal and to Brazil a lot. So, and then I'm gonna work on my Spanish. All right, so from there, Diana ends up following Felicia to the crib. She got Monet's gun. Now, that bot, that gun, and got some bodies on it too, though. What they killed Dante with the revolver. Yeah, I think it was a revolt. But anyway, Monet shows, not Monet, Diana. Damn, I think Diana mixed up with Monet. Diana shows up to Felicia's house. Now, Felicia's just taking the trash out at the night. And it's a little bit too early to take the trash out because at this time, the, the wild dogs and coons and, and all the other shit be running around. But <clears throat> Felicia's taking the trash out right now. Now, if I take the trash out, I'm going to take the trash out like around midnight. She's taking the trash out. And when we look back at the vehicle, Monet, I'm not Monet. Damn, why I keep getting Monet and Diana mixed up? Diana, she didn't disappear. Where's Diana? Where's Diana? Well, it turns out Diana got, she got quiet feet. Felicia's looking around the house. <laughs> Felicia looks like what the hell is that? Put your hands up, bitch. Oh shit, Diana. Whoa. You fucking scared me. My bad. My bad. My bad. You don't want to do that, young lady. Diana, like, you don't know what I want to do. This shit's personal. I don't like, oh damn. Diana then. Took it to another level. She in that all black. Diana, not only did Diana come in all black leather cat suit, she came in the halter top. This thing don't even come down to the waist. Belly button showing Diana say, I'm going to look good. If I got to slap a pussy nigga, I'm going to make it look good. So Diana got the toolie. Felicia got her hands up. She's like, you don't want to do this. Diana said, you took the only thing that I loved. And that was my baby, you bitch. Felicia said, oh, who you calling a bitch? 
And Diana lets Felicia walk up on her. And then she does the move that I've been trying to teach on how you could disarm somebody and turn the gun on her. Felicia takes the gun. Uh, then Diana gives her a nice little punch. But then Felicia, who is actually trained for this shit because we know Diana ain't really built like that, she starts whipping on Diana. Ping, ping, pong, pong, ping, out, boom, ooh. Diana just got done having that baby. Well, she didn't have a baby. R.I.P. to that baby. I'm not even built like that, Tommy. That ain't even me, yo. But the fight is on. They in the kitchen going at it. There's no light, so I really can't see what the hell is happening. But then Felicia, she grabs a plastic bag because she went shopping earlier. She kept a plastic bag on the counter just in case you had some extra trash you had to throw away. You just tie it up in a little bag so you don't have to bring out a, a whole new big trash bag. We didn't all done this before, especially right after you dumped the trash. So she puts the trash bag over goddamn Diana's head. Diana's in there. Brr, brr, help! <laughs> Felicia's like, yeah, got your ass, bitch. Teach you to come in my house with a goddamn gun. Diana's like, I can't breathe. Help. Help. Blah, blah, blah. The baby door is closed, so the baby don't know that none of this is going on downstairs. But then Diana does a move that I always been telling y'all always works. What does she do? Elbow the gut. Yeet. Oh, shit. She gets hit in the gut. Ah. Elbow to gut will always dislodge you from any kind of grapple. Now Diana got the damn bag over her head. <gasps> Shit, that bitch almost killed me. Hold on, Felicia. Give me a second. <sighs> Shit. Woo. Woo. Damn. Nigga, I ain't gonna lie. I thought you had me, Felicia. Felicia on the ground like, oh, goddamn that elbow to gut. That shit really do hurt. This nigga Mo hasn't been lying for the last four years. Oh, shit. Diana turns around and she gets some payback. It's the big boot. She gets the big boot to the gut. Oh! Then she turns around. She sees the cast iron frying pan on the stove. Who leaves that out? Your grandmama does. But us, we don't leave that out. We store that motherfucker. This big cast iron. She got to use two hands. It's so fucking heavy. Diana with her last breaths. <laughs> Boom. Blood just splatters everywhere. R.I.P. to Felicia Jones. Here lies a cooked officer. But then Diana looks up. How can she live with this? She sees the baby tow truck and the Nerf football. And the first thing that pops in her mind is baby Lorenzo Tejada, the third St. Patrick. <laughs> what did I do? What did I do? <laughs> oh, what did I do? I want him on the baby. I just killed him. So now Diana, she's like, oh, I done fucked up. I just committed a murder. She had four warnings, Tariq, Kane, Monet, and then even the cops said, you don't need to kill a police officer, but she did it. And now she's looking at the baby toy like, why did I do that? <laughs> oh. The first thing she do is involve somebody else. She calls up Tariq. She calls up Tariq. Tariq, nigga, I didn't call the body. Come over here. Who is this? Tariq, this is Diana. What did you, what did you just say? Tariq, I fucked up. I didn't kill the cop. I, I, I can't hear you. What, what did you... I, Davis McLean, hey, Davis, my bad for hanging up on you. I know you ain't going to try to hear what I'm about to tell you, but, it, man, between me and you, this bitch crazy. 
This bitch just called me and said she didn't kill the cop. She talking about come over. Nigga, like, I'm not going over there. My baby gone. I ain't got nothing. It wasn't on it. You know what, David? To be honest with you, man, you've been like a mentor to me. I don't know if that baby was mine anyway, but I don't, I'm not, nigga. She just killed a cop. I'm not going over there. The fuck? Diana's sitting on the stairs. Diana's sitting on the stairs. Hey, Tariq. Yeah, I, I didn't call the body. You will come through. You gonna slide through? I'm not sliding nowhere. I'm, if anything, I'm calling up Effie. If anything, I can say that this cab is rare. Your home, forget it. Your home, the Bel Air. Man, fuck that. I'm not pulling up on Diana. She didn't call the body. So Tariq, show, Tariq, I don't know what Tariq is on. Tariq shows up to the house. He pulls up to the house. Hey, Diana, how's it going? You, you just over here hanging out? She's talking about there's a baby upstairs. So once Tariq gets there, they go and look. The little boy, little Jacob, is upstairs. So for some reason, they decide to tell the kid, hey, we work with your mom. Don't get us in trouble. Go back to bed. Do you like bedtime stories? So Felicia turns into, like, mom mode. I didn't understand why they put this in the show, like, if I'm Tariq, I'm like, Diana, quit talking to this nigga. We need to go upstairs and you know what I mean? You know, y'all, hey, if you know what I mean, put you know what I mean in the chat. You know what I'm saying? Like, we need to go upstairs and you know what I mean? It ain't no bedtime story. It's the long time story. The upper room. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. You know what I mean? We ain't about to be telling this kid we cops. <laughs> if anything, we need to be telling this kid, like, hey, it's going to be all right when you wake up in the morning. You know what I mean? If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. But they over here talking to the baby. Oh, yeah, you want a bedtime story? We'll come up there and read it to you. Uh-huh. I like bedtime stories. Can you see Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. How I wonder what you are. Uh, my mom always sings this part. She say, uh, diamonds, diamond in the sky. No, no, not that song. Diamonds are forever. No, not that song. Shine bright. No, not that song. Oh, yeah. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above, uh, I think up above the, the world so high. Uh, my my mom says it's like a like a diamond uh shining bright like a diamond in the sky but my mom my my mom always she always sings that so uh can uh you you can sing the the other the other uh old mcdonald song the that's uh, the song with the he had a he had a cow moo moo in a in a in a duck oink oink and and, and he had he had uh, a little uh a little sheep that said that said it's like the little sheep go uh uh what the sheep said what the no what what the noise the sheep say the sheep say the sheep my mama said the sheep say oh McDonald had a oh McDonald had a farm in and with the sheep in the in and, and the sheep say the sheep say ba 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 the the sheep say ba and and. And oh oh I, I know another I know another song that, that mama say, but I got I got I gotta take my socks off because uh it's uh little little piggy oh yeah little piggy went little piggy went to market and uh she say uh this little this little this little, little piggy stay home and then and then with the other piggy the other uh the other piggy had roast beef and, and the other piggy had none and the, 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 the little piggy right here the little piggy right here the little the little one the little one, the, the, the little one said, he go, he go, wait, 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 he, 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 I think he went to the store, but I don't know, was it the store or the gas station? Because I think he wanted McDonald's because he didn't want, he didn't want any roast beef, but he, he went, wee, 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 I think, I think, I think it was wee, wee, wee to the store, but my mama, my mama, she does it, and she like, wiggled my feet, uh, you know that, you know that song, the little piggy song? Cause that's that's my mama say before I go to sleep. She go do little little, little little piggy, and then my mama go and some man come over in in her room. When 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 she go in the room, she close the door. She say she say Jacob, go get in that bed. Don't you come in here. 
You leave Mr. Mo alone. You don't talk to Mr. She say she say his name is Mr. Mo and, and Mr. Mo be going in there. He be making he be making some funny noise. He say he say he know he make noise. He go he go he go. Uh, 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 this show is good. Uh, uh. Mr. Mo he don't spend the night. Mr. Mo Mr. Mo be walk around in his underwear. I see Mr. Mo he had he had a uh, a brown bottle a brown bottle with a tan tan. It said tan on there and it was like he said it was. Hen dog, and he did a little, he did a bark. He said, Hen dog, a roo, a roo. And then he go back in my mama room and he called me little nigga. And, and then he go back and he make that noise. He said, ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know what him my mama do, but then she goes to sleep and sometimes I gotta wake her up because she had like white stuff on, on her nose. But when she had the white stuff, she said it's just sugar. But I don't know because she don't let me put sugar on my nose. But that, that, that's my mom. And I think I think you guys, if you if you work mom, can you tell mom uh I want to do little little piggy be, before I go to sleep because uh, there's a monster up under my bed. If if you got a gun, can you can you go shoot the monster up under the bed? Because the monster under the bed, it be it be attacking sometimes. And sometimes when I close my door, it opens up the closet door. And and one time I thought I thought it was gonna eat me because the little piggies on my feet, and I thought the monster like little piggies, but my mama say, my mama say, uh, the little piggies, they don't, the, the monsters don't eat those little piggy things because the monsters don't, they don't like pork, but I like bacon. Uh, do you know Mr. Mo? So little Jacob, little Jacob is giving a rundown of his mama being a junkie and Diana's up there. She's listening to the baby and she's realizing that maybe this is just in the power universe. That maybe not having the baby was a good idea. Because if this is what you got to deal with every night before a baby goes to sleep, this is some stressful shit. You feel me? Listening to a little nigga do all this, like, all right, go to sleep now. Fuck all that. You know what I'm saying? Fuck all that. So the little boy, Jacob, ends up going to sleep. And then Diana and Tariq, they have a little powwow downstairs. And they sit down, hands all over the furniture, all over everything. Tariq is up here looking like James St. Patrick, watching Tasha tuck the kids in. Diana's over here talking to little Jacob. Little Jacob ends up falling asleep. And then they have a like a hugging moment. I didn't understand this. I didn't understand like all of this like hugging and like hey, we just get, there's a body stanking in the living room in the in the kitchen. Like we don't need to be sitting around here hugging each other, reading this kid's books. Man, I would have locked that kid in the room, went downstairs, turned the stove on. Put a towel on the stove. And walked out the house. Now, y'all can use y'all imagination on... <laughs> y'all can use y'all imagination on what's going to happen if you put a stove... I mean, turn the stove on and put a towel on it and then walk out the house. But <laughs> that's what I would have did. We would have got up out of there. We, we didn't already. Dude, there's a whole body in the kitchen. And they up here hugging. Oh, Tariq, I've just been thinking about what's been going on. Tariq's talking about, I got you, Diana. Even though a body's not going to make you feel right, I got you. So now Diana, she's having uh, not survivor's remorse, uh, killer's remorse. So she's like, I shouldn't have did it. It's too late now. They just in here kicking it. They decided to take a, a water break, sit on the couch. Bedroom. Hey, Kendall said hands all on the wall. Hey, they walking up the stairs like this. The pot in the kitchen, the damn, uh, the staircasing, the toys, the kitchen, the couch. Everything just has fingerprints in here. But they sitting in here, and then Monet shows up. Monet shows up through the back door, which I'm assuming is where Diana came through the house at. And then... We know what happens. Don Carter shows up and he's like, all y'all niggas is going down for this. What up, Bill Blessing? 
Kendall said, not with the boy in there. Listen, this is the power universe. Body for body. You take my kid, I take your kid. Now, it's a little more ruthless what you're doing to little Jacob. But I also don't want little Jacob telling people that Mo was over at the house. You know what I mean? Walking around in my drawers drinking that hen dog. But Don Carter shows up and he basically tells them, listen, y'all are all fucked. Diana then killed the cop, which I don't know why she would do something silly like that. And everyone was told Diana that. If they let Diana leave, but we know Don's going to end up talking to Tariq, man. So that's Diana's story right there. What do y'all think about Diana? I know people were saying, let me look at the poll also. People were saying that Diana is the MVP, but is Diana really the MVP? Because Don Carter shows up and he's like, man, what the fuck did y'all just do? Like Diana just drew Don Carter over here and now he has everybody in this. Plus, there's an unalive cop. They could have fixed whatever was going on, but now there is a cop's body. It drew is now the right hand man of Don Carter. Damn. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, Diana fucked up, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let, let's be real. All right. In this situation, you got rid of, we off the clock right now. We off the clock right now. In this situation, you just got rid of Felicia. Felicia took your child. You got to do something with the body. Now, there's no way, even if you catch this house on fire, they're still going to see that there was a, a trauma to the noggin of Felicia. You know what I'm saying? When they find the body. But burning the house down eliminates... It eliminates all of the fingerprints. Right? It, it gets rid of the fingerprints. I mean, a baby for a baby. Right? A baby for a baby. I mean, look. Look at it like this. It's either that or you're going to be in here with your hands up looking like Monet. Was Tariq MVP for Unalive and Ray Ray? I can't remember what happened in that episode. What else happened in that episode? But it, Ray Ray never came back to bite him. Her conscience kicked in when she saw them toys. Man, fuck all that. You know what? From here on out, whenever we see Diana, we murderer. You know what you did. Freaking murderer. Diana unalive, the unarmed person, man. What's up with these Tejadas and these St. Patrick's unalive and unarmed people? 